And hello again, everyone. We welcome you to Pandora Gilboa High School for some high school boys basketball on this Saturday night. Looking forward to what should be a good one between a couple of league leaders with John Zerby. I'm Randy Roberts. John, welcome to the A team, I guess. I don't know what you call this, it. This but. is the A team. I'm telling you what, I'm a little bit nervous, Randy. I'm telling you what, you guys got, you got Ken over here and, and everything's rolling. And man, I got big shoes to fill tonight, too. So I hope I don't let you down. Uh, Miles doesn't wear his shoes are that big, okay. though. I know All he right. looks like a big fella, but don't let that fool you that much. But excited <laughs> to have John with us tonight. And we've got a pretty good matchup tonight. So Pandora Gilboa playing host to the Rams of Upper Scioto Valley. Yeah, and this is going to be a big task tonight for uh, Upper Scioto Valley. They're coming into this game from the Northwest Central Conference where they're the league leaders right now, 7-0, <laughs> and oh, but they're going up against a Pandora Gilboa team, Randy, that is absolutely outstanding. They right now are just really throttling teams led by the Harris boys, and I'll tell you, Upper Scioto Valley's got to have a, a, a monumental task ahead of them tonight. A USV playing some of their best basketball of the year, like you said. Leaders of the Northwest Central Conference. They have a two-game lead over uh, Ridgemont, Corey Rawson, and Lima Perry right now. Started three and five, but have now won nine of their last ten to get to 12 and six on the year. Yeah, and if you look at that roster, you see one of those names, Alex Sanders, great football player, does it all, going to go to play football at Finley. But he's the leader of this team, and also Maddox Underwood. They've, gotten roll, they've really gotten rolling lately. Coach Dre White uh, used to be the coach at Ada, has moved over to Upper Side of Valley has done a really great job there in the driver's seat for that Northwest Central Conference Championship. All right, let's now turn our attention to the home team, the Rockets of Pandora Gilboa under head coach Mike Lee as you see the starting lineup there for USV. Now the starting lineup for Pandora Gilboa. Lost back-to-back -back games back on January 19th and the 20th. We were here for the Arlington game. They lost the next night to Duffa St. John's. Haven't lost the game since. Well, and I think when you're that good, and, and you know now with Max Preps and, and, and Martin RPI, you can see who's, you know, who's who's really ranked high. You're going to get every team's best shot each night, and so I think that's what uh, Pandora Gilboa's run up against. They're getting every every night. Even the other night they play Columbus Grove goes into overtime. They're getting team's best shot. I don't doubt that tonight the Rams are going to come in here and give them their very best. Yeah, this uh, Rocket team coming off a win last night, defeating Macomb. 78 to 47. You mentioned the the Harris brothers, and they lead the way of this team, combining for about 30 points a night. And they are sensational. I'll tell you, Randy. They they do it all. I mean, they score. They they play great defense. They rebound. They're up and down the floor. They are really the key leaders of this Pandora Gilboa Rocket team. And the Rockets, uh, like the Rams, their current leader of their conference, the Blanchard Valley, because one of their two conferences, the Blanchard <laughs> Valley Conference, right now a half game lead up on Arlington and Liberty Benton. Yeah, and it's. You know, that, that's a tough league. The BBC's tough, especially with Liberty Benton always in the driver's seat. Pandora Gilboa finds themselves in this position where they can get that coveted Blanchard Valley Conference Championship. And, you know, you get to this point of the season and you have a lot riding on the line. You, you mm -hmm. see the tournament ahead of you as well, but you have a lot riding on the line. So I see them, you know, tonight getting their feet underneath them, coming out and they've played a lot of games and a lot of day in a short amount of days excuse me so it'll be interesting to see how they fare tonight and you brought up a good point you talked about the rpi you know the martin rpi the, the max preps now taking over but tournament draw is coming up tomorrow that's right this really the final opportunity for someone to to get that statement win and help out that rpi number oh absolutely and i think that you know this is why these non-conference games are so fun because you know, as you play your conference teams, you kind of know where you stand, but these non-conference games, this strength of schedule is so important when it comes to rankings. And I know there's a, some, another game going on tomorrow, something else, but, you know, like there's a big game, I guess, football or something. I, there must be. I don't I, know. I, I just think the tournament draw is happening tomorrow. That's the big thing going on. Yeah, it's a big, that, that is most <laughs> important. So we're going to take quick time out. When we come back, we'll give you our keys to the game here on WOSN. Randy Roberts, John Zerby back with you here as the crowd beginning to fill in Pandora Gilboa as it usually does. It's the 17-2 Rockets set to square off with the 12-6 Rams. 
All right, John, we're going to put you to work a little bit. How about right. some keys to the game tonight? Let's start with the visiting Rams of Upper Scioto Valley. Yeah, you know, we talked a little bit earlier about these two main players, Alex Sanders and Maddox Underwood. They do the bulk of the scoring, Randy, but the reality is tonight for them to compete with Pandora Gilboa, who's going to score a ton of points, they got to get some other guys involved. they got to have balanced scoring. I think they also got to play at their own pace. In other words, they may want to slow things down if you get into a running match. With Pandora Gilboa, it could cost you, so I think they can play at their own pace and, and make sure that they get into their sets and run uh, their sets uh, the way that they've drawn them up. And finally, they got to rebound at both ends, and they cannot give Pandora Gilboa second opportunities on the offensive side. And what will be keys to the game tonight for the Rockets of Pandora Gilboa? You know, one of the things we'll talk about and we'll see is that they just play such great defense and just getting after it. I mean, they'll they'll get after it. They'll, they'll, tons of steals, tons of turnovers, and so that's the way they get things going. And then that great defense leads to scoring points and transition. I mean, they'll get out. They're up and down the floor. You'll see them, uh, different guys coming off the bench doing the same thing. So playing great defense, getting in transition and scoring, and then finally, just ride this Harris train, man. I mean, these two guys, Colin Harris, Aiden Harris, averaging over 28 points a game, over half the points for the Pandora Gilboa Rockets. They're so fun to watch. Watch these two boys play at their best tonight. So, introduction of the starting lineups taken care of. Pandora Gilboa in the white. You see there the gray numbers with the red trim. So I think the, the number, oh, they are gray on both sides. For some reason, I thought they're red on the front and gray in the back. Upper Scioto Valley in the black with a red and white trim. As this one is thrown up. Tip's going to be controlled by Pandora Gilboa, and we are underway. Aiden Morris had it top of the key. He's got the ball in his hands right now. Looks at that left side. Pass will go that way. Good drive to the baseline. Trying to get the tough layup was going to be Aiden Harris. Couldn't get it to go. Now here come the Rams into the front court. Pull-up jumper from the elbow is going to be a good one by Maddox Underwood. He's averaging over 15 points a game, Randy, and he comes in right away shooting hot. The nice start that USB needed. Good look inside. Is Pandora able to answer? Colin Harris will get the good look inside. But just a great pass. Aiden Harris has driven baseline both times down the floor. First time took a shot, second time dished it, tied the score up. A high post pass in for Alex Sanders. The ball is going to be lost. Had a tough dribble. Good deflection on the pass. Still comes inside. And the Rockets able to get the bucket there from Owen Huffman. Talked about, you know. Pandora Gilboa pressuring defensively. They don't they won't necessarily press, full court press, but they will just pressure you enough and in that situation there created the turnover and points off the turnover. Looking for that high post pass once again. Sanders has it top of the key. Baseline jumper doesn't go that time for Underwood. Now the Rockets move in transition. Getting his way to the basket is Aiden Harris, where he'll draw the foul. One of the things Aiden Harris does so well, and he's six foot four. He's got such a long wingspan, but he does such a good job of getting vertical, getting to the rim, and giving himself an opportunity to get to the free throw line. And the replays tonight are brought to you by Critton Aerial Application, providing you with custom liquid and granule crop applications for all of our innovative drone systems, excuse me, videos and information on our Facebook page, Critton Aerial Applications. Harris will get both free throws. Harris is a 76% free throw shooter. Pretty good for a high school basketball player. Yeah, you don't see that high of a number this day and age. Long bounce pass made its way into the low block. Ball's going to be mishandled. It's another turnover against the Rams. And here come the Rockets once again. And just weaving his way through traffic is Owen Huffman to get the score. Upper side of Valley is going to have to stop that transition. As you can see, Pandora, Pandora Gilboa, great shooting team. They're going at the rim right now. 8-2 early on. Rockets in front in our scoreboard tonight. Brought to you by Sprunger Insurance. Three ball top of the keys, no good. Sprunger Insurance has locations in Pandora and Bluffton. And they say, go Rockets. And the Rockets go there. And they go with Aiden Morris, who's going to score. Up and down the floor right now. They are just playing at their very best defensively, getting turnovers, and then scoring in transition. If you're USV, how long do you let this go on for before you take a timeout? Well, I, I, it's not going to be much longer because right now they're not even getting back defensively, which is a major problem. 
dribble handoff's gonna lead to a runner in the lane. That's gonna be up and good. As Andrew Kindle, good three-point shooter, buries that one from short distance. And that's a nice take by Kindle. He's, they're gonna need that. They're gonna need him to do more than just shoot behind the arc tonight to drive the lane and get points for the Rams. 10-4, Pandora Gilboa in front. Aiden Harris, top of the key, a little stutter step, but he's gonna give to the cutter. Left wide open again is Owen Huffman. A little bit of a breakdown defensively. What a great back cut, and what nice uh, look and play there for the Rockets. 12-4, we haven't reached the halfway mark of our opening period yet. Hunter Damron will lose the basketball. It's gonna roll out, Mason Thompson will get it back near the timeline. Rams have had all sorts of problems against this defense. A nice job keeping the dribble and the baseline jumper. Second time Maddox Underwood's hit from that spot. Well, you know why he's one of their best players. You've seen the talent there, the skill. Nice looking shot by Max Underwood. Colin Harris has it right now. Gives out between the circles for Aiden Morris. Morris to swing it side to side. Morris with it, he'll get into the paint. That one's gonna be blocked. It's Kindle able to reach up, knock it free. Now USD tried to save the ball, it's a loose ball. Nearly went out of bounds. And Aiden Harris is able to step up and score. And that's a tough break because USV had a nice stop defensively, got the block shot by Alex Sanders, but couldn't maintain possession. And Aiden Harris was Johnny on the spot. Underwood's gonna bring this into the front court, gets a screen. Gives to Thompson now, we've got a whistle and we're gonna have a foul in the corner. You see Mason Thompson here trying to make this pass over to Alex Sanders and pass was going nowhere but they're gonna get Colin Harris with a grab and that's a, a, a I guess you couldn't hide that very well, Randy. Well, a helpful call helps the Rams. Ball was gonna be thrown away, now stepping up this one. Knocked free, inadvertently kicked. We're gonna play on. Ball eventually ends up out of bounds. It's gonna belong to Pandora Gilboa. Well, I'll tell you, it started with the defense, but look at this play here. These guys diving for the basketball, going for it, putting their bodies on the line, heads hitting the floor. Wow, that's just good stuff. Tough break for Maddox Underwood. Underwood trying to save it. Unfortunately, threw it off one of his own teammates and it went out of bounds. That, that kind of night so far for USV. <laughs> Well, Pandora Gilboa would create that. That's the difficult thing about them. Extra pass to the wing where the three ball's no good by Zach Neuenschwander. Now we're gonna have a whistle on the rebound. It's gonna be a push called against the Rockets. You know, I think one of the things that Upper is, is dealing with right now is the speed of Pandora, Pandora Gilboa, but the other thing that we'll see is they are extremely physical. I mean, they are not afraid to body you up. They're not afraid to go at you uh, on the boards. And so right now, USV is going to have to play a little catch up. Entry pass is going to be knocked away. This one taken away by Colin Harris. Harris gets it out for Neuenschwander. Neuenschwander doesn't get the bucket, but he's going to draw the foul. Zach Neuenschwander, I like what he does. He comes in and he just brings a lot of skill. You can tell he's put a lot of time in the gym as you see him on the replay. Get up, straight up and down, and now he's gonna get himself an opportunity for two. And again, our replays tonight brought to you by Critton Aerial Applications. So the first free throw is good for Zach Neuenschwander. So he becomes the fifth different player to score already in this opening quarter. And that's one of the things about Pandora Gilboa. They are balanced. I mean, you'll have the Harris boys score the majority of the points, but they have lots of others who contribute. 15-6 Pandora. Still under three to go opening quarter on our Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Rams trying to find something. Underwood sends this one up over the top for Thompson. Thompson will find Kendall. Now they're going to reset the offense. And I think this is smart, you know, I said earlier, play at your own pace. In other words, keep the ball away from Pandora Gilboa. Even if you have to, I don't like to use the term stall ball, but even if you have to, try to get into your set. Lob inside's gonna be taken away as Tanner Leasty took that one away. And now the Rockets with it off the turnover. And for the first time tonight, seeing them kind of be deliberate. No one's gonna step up and guard the shooter, so Colin Harris will knock down the long range shot. Colin Harris has got a sweet looking shot as you see the timeout here. He's really pushing this Pandora Gilboa rocket lead. 
So USV will take a timeout, we'll take it as well. 18-6 Pandora Gilboa here, two minutes to go in our opening quarter. Eighteen six, good to start for the Rockets. Pandora Gilboa as they've jumped out to the early lead over Upper Scioto Valley. Done it uh, both ends of the floor, really, John. Yeah, and big thing right now is turnovers. They've created five turnovers to only P PG's one, and lots of points off of those turnovers so far. So Rams trying to get going offensively. Been held to uh, basically just a couple of baseline jumpers from Maddox Underwood. Still working around the perimeter. Another one taken away. Aiden Harris comes up with a steal, and Harris finishes with a layup. The turnovers are a major problem, but the speed of the Rockets right now, USV having a hard time catching up to that speed of Pandora Gilboa. Aiden Harris now with six, and we're going to get a whistle and a foul. And you heard a groan from the, I believe that might have come from the Pandora Gilboa bench. I don't know if there was a lot of contact there. <laughs> Well, one of the things about playing physical is that you're going to have fouls, and that's I think Coach Mike Lee is okay with that. You know, his, his bench goes deep. He doesn't mind doing that as long as they're being aggressive. Aaron Harris guilty of the foul. Tough shot in traffic is no good, but the Rams able to draw the foul. And we'll see Alex Sanders at the line shooting too. And they're struggling just to get entry passes right now, but I like what they did there, getting the ball to Alex Sanders. Like I said earlier, he's a key player, letting him get the opportunity with the basketball around the rim. Maybe he'll get a layup, but maybe he'll get himself to the free throw line. That's what he did there, knocked down the first one, so now 20 to seven. Sprunger Insurance scoreboard here with a minute 18 to go. Opening quarter, Sanders hits them both. Still a double-digit lead for the Rockets. Double team on that low block, able to kick that out. A good job getting rid of the basketball there by uh, Tanner Leeski. I like what USV did there. They pressed a little bit, just a little run and jump, just to throw PG off. Now they're back into their 2-3 zone as they've played throughout the first quarter, but it really kind of stopped Pandora Gilboa from getting an easy bucket. Neunschlander's pass goes over the top. And a nice job positioning for Owen Huffman, who's got four baskets here in the opening quarter. Both from underneath the basket, and both times pump fake, got the defender off his feet, and made an easy layup. Rams working around the perimeter. And we're going to get an offensive foul here on a moving screen. That's a tough call. I mean, that, that is. And, you know, as you see, Maddox Underwood was going to dribble and shoot. But it was moving, as we can see. Got to have your feet set. You can't just run somebody over. Yeah, Bo Sanders saw the shoulders kind of turn. Guilty of the foul. And our instant replays tonight brought to you by Critton Aerial Applications. Provides you with custom liquid and granular crop applications, all from our innovative drone system. 20 seconds now left to go in our opening quarter. Pandora Gilboa going to play for the last shot. Well, they've had such a great first quarter. It's, uh, you know, I know they want to run and gun here, but it's a great opportunity for them to finish on a high note. Entry pass is going to be knocked away. So the Rams able to force the turnover. Now five seconds to go. Trying to get to the basket. Gets the roll as the horn will sound in a nice way to end the opening quarter. So Underwood able to get the basket. Makes it 22 to 10 after one. We'll take a break here on WOSN. Twenty two ten Pandora Gilbo with lead over Upper Scioto Valley when there is a made three pointer, which we had one in that opening quarter. It is a Kent Moose three pointer. Tonight's three point sponsor is Kent Moose Family Center. The Kent Moose is Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kenton Moose 428 in Kenton online at Kenton Moose 428.com. Upper Scioto Valley could use a few of those. Right now, get back into this one. Down a dozen as we move into our second quarter. 
because it's kind of like a buzzsaw that first quarter. They don't know what hit them. They look a little bit more subtle here. Great backdoor cut trying to get these points. And Sanders gave out to the cutter. There's a three ball. That's going to be no good. Nice job of the offensive rebound. Underwood just can't have the ball knocked out of his hands. I believe it was Eaton Morris that poked it free. Morris with the basketball right now comes to the wing. Give over to Aiden Harris. He's going to come back into the center circle. Pandora Gilboa up 12, can be a little bit more patient on offense. Skip pass over the top, leads to the corner three. That's going to be no good, but an offensive rebound. And getting right to the basket will be Owen Huffman. Owen Huffman's been everywhere tonight. He's got six points, excuse me, ten points. He's just been all over the place, grabbing rebounds underneath the basket, moving without the basketball. Really impressive showing tonight by Huffman. Yeah, I think the uh, furthest out he's had to shoot a shot has been about four feet. Even getting that rebound and going right to the rack to score. So now 24-10 on our Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Baseline jumper is up and good once again. Well, that's what Upper needs to do. They need to get in their set, get a good shot. You know, they're struggling to rebound, but I like what they're doing defensively. They're extending their defense, trying not to allow Kendor Gilboa any backdoor cuts, but as you can see, Aiden Harris made one, and he's underneath the hoop. They kind of created one by just out jumping everyone as we take a look at the Critton Aerial Applications replay. That's the frustrating thing about coaching. You can draw it up and you can do it right. And when Aiden Harris comes in and just jumps over everybody, man, that's frustrating. Harris at the line, knocks down the first free throw. He's such a smooth player. I mean, you know, he's got the size, he's got the wingspan. He can shoot, he can really do it all. I, I just see such a bright future ahead of him. And get the second free throw as well. I think one thing if you're upper side of Valley is you do not want to get into a scoring match with Pandora Gaboa. You got to try to maybe slow things down, but the aggressive defense has caused so many turnovers, they're really in a pickle right now. Well, Underwood trying to find some space, dribbles around, give it over to Sanders. Sanders will dump off inside. A good look, finishes with a good basket. Yeah, and you know, the thing is, is that, you know, they got both Sanders involved right now. USV's kind of doing what they need to. It's not just Underwood, it's not just Alex Sanders, it's others contributing. They've cut this lead down, down to 12. Still looking at that 2-3 zone. Right now, Pandora goes side to side. They'll get into that soft spot off the elbow and ends up with a basket by Nate Mag. The other night, Nate Mag's student section was cheering. He's a farmer, he's a farmer. And I tell you what, he, he, if he, he, I'm sure he is, but man, this guy can play. He can bail, he can do it all, I'm telling you. You see the uh, the barn with the hoop inside it? <laughs> yes. He's got kinda... little, little barn ball. That's right. Hey, whatever works. That's not just in Indiana, folks. <laughs> well, Underwood, well away from the basket, gives to Sanders. Sanders nearly had it poked away. Back out to Underwood, they'll give into the corner. Underwood's got to love the fact that he gets to wear a black and red jersey with a number 23 on it. Man, I tell you, if he had the, the Jays on too, he'd have the trifecta. Now, did someone have to explain to him who Michael Jordan is, or do they still It's a know? shoe, isn't it, Randy? Yeah, it's it's, just, it's, it's just, just a shoe. Yeah. Kenton Moose three-pointer made there. Camden Verhoff knocks it down. And Upper Scioto Valley wants to take another timeout. I'm just afraid it's going to be like Madden eventually, right? No one's going to know John Madden was a coach. Like, he's that guy from that video game. Well, he did a little bit more than that. Man, and these kids are missing out. I know the, the, the Jordans are so popular, but, man, NBA basketball back in the day. I'm really sounding like an old guy now, Randy, because, man, they, they don't know what they're missing. They don't. Oh. It, it's weird because you have to explain to them the Pistons used to be good, yeah. right? <laughs> they used to be the best. I yeah. mean, you know, the bad boys Man. and Billy and Beer, if oh. you remember that name. And, boy, was, they just had some players. That was my childhood. That was Rodman and Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, Rodman before he went crazy, like kind of still semi-regular <laughs> <Yes>. Rodman. <laughs> before he turned into the Rodman we all know and love today. Oh, man, just hated Michael Jordan. <laughs> Rams with the basketball, trying to get going, trying to feed the low post. That one's going to be knocked away. Another turnover. 
stepping into the three ball. It's up and good out of Aiden Harris. That's the thing about Aiden Harris is he can go to the rim, he can backdoor cut, but the problem is, is if you extend too much, if you don't extend too much on him, he's gonna drill a triple. And yeah, that is back to back, Kenton Moose three pointers for the Rockets. Looking for another one right here. Harris holds and he's gonna turn it down, gets it out to Aiden Morris. Morris fakes that jab step that everyone likes to use now. Back out to the wing, Colin Harris. That pass is tipped, makes its way to its apparent spot off the wing. And Morris picks up his dribble at the elbows to give back behind him for Aiden Harris. He'll let fly from deep, can't get that one to go. Sanders has the rebound for the Rams. He fires a pass ahead, and this one is gonna bang off the padding near our RoboCam, which always makes Ken nervous. <laughs> what a nice looking pass there. Look, Alex Sanders showed that he's got a, he's got a rifle for an yeah, arm as well. A, yeah, a little bit of an arm there. Put everything he had to get that one. See a substitution for Pandora Gilboa's Owen Huffman comes back into the lineup. Quarter three, that one is gonna be no good. Offensive rebound grab there by Bo Sanders. They kick out, trying to bank in the three-pointer, but can't get that one, but it's kept alive once again. And now Underwood will bury the Kenton Moose three-pointer. Upper side of Valley did a great job of rebounding. Two possessions there that they got back because of offensive rebounding, finally finding Maddox Underwood to knock down the triple. So now 34-17 on our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. Go Rockets. Rockets haven't need any help going, and they've gone pretty well. And they're going to go with a Kent Moose three-pointer there out of Colin Harris. Purpose of the 2-3 is to make sure that guys aren't getting easy shots inside. The problem is, is it's really tough to defend three-point attempts. And as you can see, Randy, the last several times on the floor, Pandora Gilboa can shoot the rock. Rockets now lead this one by 20. Ball's going to be knocked out of bounds, so it's going to stay with Upper Scioto Valley. So we'll see Nate Mag check back into the lineup now. Pandora Gilboa has played just about everyone we expect him to. Three-pointer there is no good. As Nate Walker is the rebound under the basket, finds an outlet in Colin Harris. Harris to the wing for Huffman. Huffman gives top of the key. Ball fake there by Walker. Now Mag cuts, nothing there as they're gonna go the other side. Walker, the one dribble, gives it back over to Harris. Pandora Gilboa now being patient. Leads to an open three and another. Kenton Moose three-pointer out of Colin Harris. That's his third of the night. USV changed defensively, but it didn't matter, Randy, because Colin Harris is hot right now. 11 points, and he is lighting it up. Yeah, three of them on three-pointers. Pandora Gilboa with a big lead, 40 to 17. USV trying to answer, three balls no good. Backside rebound was fought for. Finally won by the Rockets. And beating everyone down the floor is Nate Mag, and he will finish with a basket. Oh, it started with Colin Harris. He got it up to Nate Walker and finished with Nate Mag. Boy, that was beautiful. Now 42-17. Don't know if this is what everyone had in mind tonight. Knew it was going to be tough for USV. Good drive in the lane and take there by Alex Sanders. He's going to draw the foul. You know, I, I kind of see it as, you know, this game, I, I don't want to say the game doesn't matter, but as far as record or league implications for Pandora, Gilboa, it, it doesn't really play into anything that would cause any pressure. And I think they're just playing at such a high level because they can just play tonight. You know, they can just play free and get after it, and USV's kind of, you know, getting the brunt of that. Sanders able to knock down the first free throw. Yeah, we kind of talked about it in our pregame. Really, the only thing at stake is, you know, help, help a tournament number a little bit with a draw tomorrow. You know, does it raise your stature enough where maybe you move up a spot in the now coveted RPI rankings? 
I miss the old days the coaches got together in a smoke-filled room. Oh, boy. I've been in those rooms. <laughs> Believe me, it oh. was uh, intense when uh, when they walked in, and sometimes you thought there might be punches thrown on the way out. Now it's tough to do it when it's all online. As there's another Kent Moose three-pointer, this time Zach Neuenschwander. So he is the fourth different player for Pandora to hit a three-pointer tonight. Yeah, I talked about him a little bit earlier, but he's just so skilled. Gets out there and does all the right things. So USV trying to find something. He'll get the kick out. Underwood tries the three. That one's no good. Still fighting for the rebound. This one's going to be kicked out. Ball ends up into the backcourt. It's going to roll all the way out of bounds. USV is also going to let the time expire. So that is the opening half of basketball. 45-19. Pandora Gilboa in front of Upper Scioto Valley. We'll take a timeout. We'll have the second half for you when we return here on WOSN. Randy Roberts, John Zerby back with you here. Pandora Gilboa, the Rockets lead Upper Scioto Valley at the half. 45-19, John, we knew it was going to be a tough one for USV tonight. They've had their hands full dealing with the, the pressure both offensively and defensively out of the Rockets. Yeah, I mean, Pandora Gilboa has done nothing wrong. They've literally done everything right, and I think the pressure defensively has created so many turnovers um, tonight, and that's the biggest thing right now. USV struggling to get into their offense because that, that pressure defense has created so many transition points. And we've seen a lot of good shots, but I don't know if we've seen anything like what we saw at halftime out <laughs> of the, uh, the beanbag toss here. So those of you who might not be familiar, and we've seen other places that have done this. So there's a little washer. You can see the washer here in the middle of it. And the idea is to take your beanbag and you got to get it inside the circle. If you don't get it, it's the closest to it. And how about so close they had to get the measuring tape out to figure I mean, out who was the closest? This is precision, Randy. I mean, they do not mess around here up here at Pandora Gilboa. They they brought out the measuring tape. I mean, and it took a little while. I mean, look at this. I mean, it was it was quite a competition. Yeah, you see, I thought we saw one kind of rolled through. Yeah, so I mean. It's like, that's like all of my golf balls on the green. Just <laughs> You see them just roll away, roll away. Hey, at least I'm you hit, reached I'm, the I'm, green. I'm that's hitting a, them know. short or they're rolling off. Yeah, that's, that's you can see there's one rolls all the way through. Yeah. So quite a, quite a halftime entertainment here. Looked like a little bit so, of a slope on that uh, green there. Had to, had to give John out. John, he's going to take some back to Spencerville with him here maybe. <laughs> so Rockets with the basketball to begin the second half. Block shot from behind as Underwood's going to get a piece of this one. Ball ended up out of bounds. It's going to stay with Pandora Gilboa. Yeah, and I think if you're USV this half, you just you just want to get settled. I mean, you know, that it was just such a surprise, not, not a shock, but a surprise that Pandora Gil Gilboa came out and played so well in that first half. I think if you're USV, you just want to kind of get settled here and, and maybe even, if, you know, defensively try to get a few stops. Yeah, this is a different PG team, we said. Lost back-to-back -back nights, and ever since then, they've kind of flipped the switch, and they've played at a whole different level. It's Nate Mag with it inside. Mag's going to draw two or three black jerseys. There's no problem. He'll just shoot over all of them and score and draw the foul. I mean, I love what he does here. He gets the ball on the lane. You see him use his body, goes straight up. You can see the foul right there, and he gets the bucket to go. Nate, Nate Mag's got the opportunity for the old-style three-point play. And then Mag will go to the free throw line where he will have it off the front of the iron. And our instant replay that you just saw there brought to you by Critton Aerial Applications. Provide you with custom liquid and granular crop applications, all from our innovative drone system. Videos and information can be found on our Facebook page, Critton Aerial Applications. Three-point attempt is going to be blocked. Now a little bump in the backcourt is going to lead to a foul because... That's usually how it works. When you turn the ball over, you have to immediately commit the foul. Well, and again, it's it's that aggressive defense. You see the uh, aggressiveness there by Owen Huffman. He's done a lot in this first half, and now in the second half already being active and creating that turnover. Upper Scioto Valley fouls on Hunter Damron. That's going to be his first. Team second already of this third period, which just a minute or so has gone by. But the no-look pass 
Back to Meg. Meg can't get that one to go. Had to double clutch it. Comes up with his own miss. He's going to have it knocked out of his hands. Thought there might have been a little bit more contact there than there was the last one, but we'll play on. Well, and I like that the officials are letting him play a little bit. I mean, you don't want it to get out of hand, but Alex Sanders did a nice job of making the block and then coming down the floor here, getting the ball, driving the lane, getting himself to the free throw line. And I think that that's one of the things that if you're Coach Dre White, you got it. You had to talk about at halftime, the physicality. I mean, Pandora Gilboa is getting after it physically. you got to match that. Sanders will hit the first free throw. Came in just a 52% free throw shooter on the year. He'll hit both there. All six of his points have come from the charity stripe. Pandora Gilboa will break what little USV pressure there was. And they set up in the half court. Morris will leave a bounce pass to the right wing for Harris. Colin Harris, defender on his hip, back to Morris. Nothing there, so give it back to Harris. Harris and Morris. Playing a little two-man game, and now they'll back up, reset the offense. Well, and, and there's that pressure defense by USV trying to create a turnover. I, I like this look uh, that they brought this half, trying to create something on, on the defensive side of the ball. Mag from the corner is going to draw the fouls. It looks like someone's going to get him in the arm. It looks Take like a it, look at the replay. It looks like it was Mason Thompson who stepped out and... They're going to get the foul. And, you know, it looked to me like he was straight up and down, but he might have come down. He did, he did touch the top of uh, Nate Mag's hand. So Mag will head to the free throw line where he knocks down the first one. Just so hard to hide when you get that hand down like that. It's like there's the whistle. Even if you don't do anything, you jump up and you do that, you're going to get a whistle. Second one stays out. So Mag will split the pair. Now 48-21. Sprunger Insurance scoreboard here, 5.45 and counting. Left to go third quarter. Good entry pass, good job for the cutter. Thompson unable to get it. I think he heard the footsteps yeah. of that pressure coming. But a nice job getting back defensively, and Sanders coming up with a stop. Yeah, beautiful set by USV. They got the shot they wanted. I mean, they got the look, they got the backdoor cut, and he was open, just missed, and then Getting back, like you said, on defense, that's a key. You know, they, they weren't able to get back in the first half, and there were lots of layups by the Rockets, but they were able to get back and sustain that possession. Harris will give it to Morris. They'll go into the corner three ball. That one is going to be a little short. Nice job saving that one from going out of bounds by Aiden Harris. will lead to a reset for Pandora Gilboa. Out hustling USV tonight. Now being a little bit more patient. Well, and I think if you, even if you're Pandora Gilboa, you know, you see Colin Harris there take the ball to the hole, and Alex Sanders says, no, thank you. Second block as many times. Look at this, man. Alex Sanders comes up and does a great job of positioning his body and getting all ball. Of course, Pandora Gilboa to get the inbound in. It's Harris. Harris going to come through the lane again with the left hand off the window and in and draws the foul. It's just, it's just skill here. I mean, he's got talent. He's, but just that skill, that's a, that's a move right there. He just kind of shimmied right and went back left, used his left hand, and now has the opportunity to get himself three points on the scoreboard. And Mason Thompson's going to pick up the foul, his third. Speaking of threes, the three-point play, a good one out of Aiden Harris. And Harris putting together a pretty impressive night. Got 14. And now we'll have a foul as Aiden Morris is going to lean in on Underwood just a little too much. You know, if you're if you're Pandora Gilboa, Randy, I, I think that one of the struggles that I mean, you know that you come out in the second half is how do you match the first half? I mean, they played so well. You just don't want to drop off any. So, you know, Coach Mike Lee, I know, has probably had that conversation that they got to keep that intensity level up. Wing jumper no good out of Sanders. Pandora Gilboa will get the miss. Morris will give into the corner. Three ball on the way. That's going to be no good. Thompson has the rebound. Now ball ends up into the hands of Maddox Underwood. USV doing a good job of getting defensive rebounds and giving themselves, or excuse me, Pandora Gilboa only one look at the rim. Sanders spinning around, trying to create a little bit of space inside. 
As we see the Critton aerial application replay. Climbing the ladder was Aiden Harris to come up with that block. One thing about both these teams is they've got some, some guys that like to block shots. I mean, we've seen a lot of that so far. It's been exciting. Underwood from the wing, couldn't get that one to go under the basket. Good rebound there by Aiden Harris. So now to head, a little double clutch. And the bunny doesn't go. Tough break for Pandora Gilboa. Good job by Upper Soda Valley to get the ball in transition. You're going to get a bucket here for the Rams. Badly needed. Good job on the baseline, Maddox Underwood. Underwood now in double digits with 11. Pandora trying to answer with a three, and they do out of Aiden Harris. Aiden Harris, he's, he's just good, Randy. I don't know how else to say it. I mean, he can do it all. We've seen him do it inside the lane. We've seen him do it on the defensive end. We've seen him do it everywhere. And that last three-pointer brought to you by the Kenton Moose Family Center. Kenton Moose is Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kenton Moose 428 in Kenton. Online at kentonmoose428.com. USV will maintain possession here in a ball out of bounds. Under three and a half minutes left to go third quarter in our Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Sanders, that high post pass, had to go up to get it. This one's going to be knocked away. To stay with the Rams, they'll have to move from one side of the basket to the other to inbound. I do like the mindset, though. Go at the rim, try to get yourself to the free throw, and hasn't had that opportunity, uh, that possession just yet. But it's really a good idea to try to do that. Underwood has got this into Sanders. They're going to look for Bo Sanders. And he'll just mishandle the basketball, ends up out of bounds. So now Pandora Gilbo will get this one back. Comfortably in front, 54-23, under three to go in our third quarter. As you can see that USV switched over to a 1-3-1 defense here. And you know, if you're Pandora Gilboa, this is this is a good opportunity to work on some maybe some offense against these defensive sets that you don't see a, a whole lot of. And you can see it's 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 confusing them a little bit as they, they have the turnover there, but it's a good opportunity to work against it too. And tried going inside out with Nate Mag. Mag with a kick out. And give to someone that wasn't there. It's a spin on the baseline. And a good look out of Maddox Underwood as he'll score. And a quick timeout on the floor. So we'll take one as well. 2.27 to go, third quarter, 54-25. Pandora Gilbo in front. We'll take a timeout here on WOSN. Well, 54 25, Pandora Gilbo in front of Upper Side Road Valley. Here we play 227 left to go in our third quarter. At the conclusion of this one, we're going to give away Stolly Insurance Hustle Award. Now, John, we normally let uh, Miles in charge of that, so just. Just so you know, listen, you got some. Listen, I'm going to do my best. Like I said, I got big <laughs> shoes to fill, but, you know, maybe I can come up with three or four questions that don't sound, you know, too unintelligent. Well, I mean, again, your competition's Miles Holiday, <laughs> so I think you're setting that bar awfully high on yourself. <laughs> Ball knocked away. Good view from our camera. RoboCam getting good work in tonight. One of the things that PG does so well is they just deny entry passes. The long arms, the stretch of all their players, but doing a good job of doubling, as you can see on the block there, and then making sure that they fall down, entering the lanes and getting turnovers. Now, even when it does come in, when they go inside out, Upper Scioto Valley turns it over. It's right on cue. Now three ball on the way, and another Kenton Moose three-pointer. This time it's Owen Huffman who knocks one down. Yeah, Owen Huffman, we've said his name a lot tonight. 13 points, done so much defensively, done so much without the basketball, but also with it. Stends that lead, now upper side of the valley trying to get something going inside. Huffman's gonna commit the foul, his first. See some new bodies into the lineup for each team. I think when you're in this kind of situation, too, I, I wouldn't say the game is, is over. As you see, a nice steal there by Harris. 
throw that one to himself. He'll get it underneath the basket. That was going to be partially blocked. Now Nate Mag has to try to get involved, come up with a miss, and he's going to draw the foul. But, you know, when, you're, when the game is – there, there's such a big gap right now. I mean, it's going to be really challenging for Upper Soda Valley to come back from this. I think it's an opportunity, though, to do some things that maybe you haven't done all year to play some some different lineups. I mean, get some guys in the game. Um, and just maybe even if you're Upper Soda Valley, giving some guys a different opportunity. Maybe your guys normally a three, play them at a two or a one, just to kind of see as you get ready for tournaments here in a few weeks what you can actually do. So Mag will split the free throws. Yeah, it's a good point, really, this time of the year. You mentioned it with the different zone defenses. You know, good chance. You're going to get something better in live action than you would. You, you can practice against it, but it looks different in the game situation. Oh, it absolutely does. And, you know, a lot of times at practice, you know, it's it's tough as Maddox Underwood. I'll tell you, he's, he's had a nice game, Randy. He really has done a nice job getting himself to the free throw line. But, you know, nothing against, you know, JV players, but when you're when you're going in practice, you just can't replicate a varsity uh, matchup. And Maddox Underwood will get the three-point play, so he's got 16 tonight. 16 of the 28 as Upper Scioto Valley finds themselves down 30 under a minute to go in our third quarter. Top of the key, another three ball, trying to bank that one in. Doesn't go, but an offensive rebound. It's Camden Verhoff has seen a little bit more playing time. A kick out to him. He'll take the three. Buries it. We've seen so many PG players come in and knock down triples. I mean, it's not just one or two guys. Right now, they've got a slew of guys that can come in and shoot the basketball. Here's another Kenton Moose three-pointer now. 61-28 late in our third quarter. Upper trying to answer with a three, it's no good. Nearly bending backwards, Aiden Morris come up with a miss. Get it ahead to Mag who gets nifty with the layup. I like what Nate Mag did there. Left hand laid it in. That's how our third quarter will end. It's been all Pandora Gilboa tonight. They'll take a 63-28 lead into the fourth quarter. And we'll have it for you after this on WOSN. Sixty three twenty eight Pandora Gilboa in front of Upper Scioto Valley as we begin our fourth and final quarter tonight. John's going to milk this call up for all it's worth tonight. <laughs> yes, I am. We're even going to put him to work with a player of the game interview after the game. You guys got all these neat tools and gadgets around here. It's so cool. Alex Sanders tried to get the opening basket of the quarter, couldn't get it to go. Now the Rockets bring this one into the front court. It's Verhoff, that high post pass. Now Colin Harris tried to give inside. That one's going to go through about three sets of hands before the Rams come away with it. Underwood with a spin, pulls up, and I think make a couple of revolutions before it falls through. I think one thing, if you're if you're upper side of alley, you can take away is that Maddox Underwood's really had a nice night. He's done a little bit of everything on both ends of the floor, but he's really been the steady hand that they needed offensively. Yeah, he's got 18 to really carry him. This one would be even worse run away without him. You know, ball out of bounds, and a nice play there is Alex Sanders was going to knock that, I believe, off Aiden Harris on that baseline drive. As we've moved into a running clock situation here. Yeah, the running clock's an interesting thing. You, you know, several years ago, you only used it during the tournament. You had to get up 35, and then, you know, to, to, to compensate for the runs, you have to, to get under 30 to get it to stop. So it's just weird when the ball's out of bounds and the clock's running. And the three ball there <laughs> does get to 30. As Maddox Underwood knocks down the Kenton Moose three-pointer. You don't think those upper side of Valley kids knew. <laughs> they knew going into the fourth quarter that they were going to try to get that lead down so there was not a running clock. So now Pandora Gilboa will have to get it back to 35 to engage it once again. Well, that's a good way to start. Tough baseline jumper, Aiden Harris. 
his game has a lot of elements. I mean, it, it, he can do a lot offensively, and that's why it's so difficult to defend him. If you take away the the lane, he can hit it from the outside. But the speaking of lanes, Bo Sanders able to drive the lane and score there. Now 65-35. So five and a half minutes to go in our Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Three ball, that one's gonna be no good. Tough physical plays, we move on, fighting for the rebound. One stuck underneath the backboard there by Caden Lowry. Now ball out of bounds. As Upper Scioto Valley will throw this one away. Nate Walker back in the lineup now for Pandora Gilboa. And it looks like Zach Neuenschwander will head out as well. The Rockets gonna begin to get some of their starters out. And I think, you know, one of the things that you wanna do is you wanna keep your guys in as long as you can because, you know, you wanna keep that conditioning, but at the same time, you wanna get other guys opportunities to get on the floor. Underwood had the rebound, had to save it because he landed near the baseline, threw it to an opposing team. And how about Zach Neuenschwander with the Kenton Moose three-pointer? We've said his name a lot tonight. Seven points from two three-pointers and a free throw, but he just gets in there and does so many uh, vitally important things for Pandora Gilboa. Good player to have come on here. Late in the year, this is a very deep, talented team. Expected to make some noise in Division Four. Heading to a district in Elida, I believe. He says with a question mark from memory as he tries to keep track of 125 <laughs> boys basketball teams. We'll know tomorrow when you check your Twitter feed and you see all the posts and where everybody fell and who's going to match up. It's, it's just going to be a fun day to, to see how everything uh, falls, shakes out. And I don't know about you, but you don't, you don't you like looking at it and go, why did that guy choose that game? Why did, <laughs> what, what does that coach have beef with that guy for? Why is he playing him in the first round? I've seen coaches who, who pick the play early just because they don't want to have a night off. I always thought it was nice to have a bye, but you're exactly right, Randy. There will be some things that will happen tomorrow night that will, will puzzle everybody. Oh, there absolutely is. <laughs> Ball pass ahead, knocked out of bounds. Pandora and Gilboa go deeper into their bench now. See this, trying to get this pass ahead. Nice job defensively to knock that one away by Bo Sanders. It's nice round of applause for the rest of the uh, starters. Pandora Gilboa, it looks like they're going to have the rest of the night off. And again, our replays tonight have been brought to you by Critton Aerial Applications. Provide you with custom liquid and granular crop applications, all from our innovative drone system. Videos and information on our Facebook page, Critton Aerial Applications. Quickly down two and a half to go as that running clock does speed things up quite a bit. A 15 footer up and good. We'll have to go off the uh, JV. I believe Adam Buell off the JV team picks up a bucket. This is the fun time, Randy, that we don't know the numbers yeah. of the players because <laughs> they're deep into the bench. And so you're either having a good night or a bad <laughs> night if uh, <laughs> names and numbers we don't have are scoring for you, and we apologize. Ball out of bounds. And you know, one of the things about that is night to night, it could be a different kid with that number. Because, you know, you had a good week of practice, you That's may dress yep, this week. Yep. And maybe you missed a day of school, you ain't dressing. It sounds like uh, this guy's dealt with that a couple of times. <laughs> the missing school part, yeah, more than, <laughs> more than what I wanted. <laughs> we'll look inside, it's also gonna be that time where the referees are gonna swallow the whistles as much as they can, although they are going to call one theirs. About three sets of hands went in on uh, Ethan Sutter. It's down inside our final minute here in our Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. 
to fall away in the paint. Doesn't go in again. Our scoreboard tonight has been brought to you by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. They say go Rockets, and the Rockets did just that tonight. Good pull-up jumper there, Upper Scioto Valley is Caden Lowry will get into the scoring column. 72-37 as the Rockets will have to bring it into the front court. And that looks like that's about all they are gonna do. And they'll let the final few seconds run off the clock. So they had a little bit more time than they thought. As they'll look over, the officials with the final few seconds to run off. And that is gonna do it. And our final tonight here from Pandora was all Rockets at home as they knock off Upper Scioto Valley this evening, 72 to 37. We'll take a timeout when we come back. We'll head down to the floor. John Zerby's gonna check in with our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner when we return. Big win tonight for the Rockets Pandora Gilboa as they knock off Upper Scioto Valley 72 to 37. A big part of that was the play of Aiden Harris had a huge night both offensively and defensively. He's our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner and he's the taller of the two down on the floor next to our John Serby. Yeah, definitely a lot taller than me. Aiden Harris, our Stolly Insurance game, Aiden, you know, he came out here, he had a great night. Just talk a little bit about this game. It's a non-conference game, a fun game against Upper Side of Valley, but just talk a little bit about the game and the game plan going into, into tonight. Yeah, we just want to pressure the ball really well. Um, it's hard for us to stop pressuring the ball. Um, we want to get the ball and go, and it's a good win on our part. You know, you, you go, come into the season, a lot of high expectations. So far you've met that. In, in, in the middle of the season, there's a couple losses there, but. You're in full control of the Blanchard Valley Conference and then now the Putnam County League, a couple games left. You know, as you're looking at this point of the season, what is the mindset going forward? Uh, just keep our composure, do the little things. Uh, every day in practice, we're working hard and uh, yeah, just get the win. So tomorrow's kind of a big day. You know, you're gonna see where you fall, where things land, what the tournament's gonna look like. You know, how excited is this team to, to get tournament time started? Yeah, we're really excited. Uh, we haven't liked our past two years, so uh, we're really excited and we can't wait to work, get to work. All right, final question, and I'll let you go celebrate with your teammates. You had a great season, Aiden. What, you know, as you, as you go forward, and just talk about all the things that you've had to do to get yourself to this point. We talk a lot about your talent, but we see a lot of skill. We know that you've put a ton of time in the gym. Just talk a little bit about what it's taken to get you to this point. Yeah, I think you said it's just the time in the gym. Uh, my dad, so when I want to get in the gym, we can. So we have 17 years. We talk about it every day and work. Hey, we wish you the best. Congratulations. Our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner, Aiden Harris, Pandora Gilboa. Yeah, had a big night for him. And again, you can check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. So it's a big win for Pandora Gilboa again, 72 37. Also won the JV game tonight, 52 to 24. We want to thank everyone for making our night possible here at Pandora Gilboa. It starts with Matt Hershey, great athletic director at Pandora Gilboa Schools. Also want to thank Tony for coming by, running the camera for us uh, today. He's been all over the place. And I uh, want to thank both John and, of course, Ken Reeker. John did a nice job filling in for Miles. We appreciate it. So Tell you what, this was fun. Fun, fun, fun. You guys like like I can be like a fifth string if you if you know if Miles is getting on your nerves or whatever, guys, give me a call. That's, I'll be here. I promise. That, Great that, working with you guys. That happens more than you might think. That's right. <laughs> 70, 72 37 the final Pandora get, Gilboa gets the win over upper. So for John and our entire WOSN crew, I'm Randy Roberts. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>